So today I'm going to make some tacos. And the great thing about tacos, I think, is you can make them out of almost anything. Now I really like carnitas tacos and barbacoa tacos, but to be quite honest, my favorite tacos really are veggie tacos. I know, I know that may seem a little odd, but uh, I really like veggie tacos. Now I don't have a real set list of vegetables when I make veggie tacos. I just buy whatever looks the best in the store. And I usually always add some potato in it too because that's the way I like it. I like some potato in with my veggie tacos. Now I'm going to use the same pan to cook the potatoes and the vegetables. So I started with the potato first. I'm just going to boil those in some salted water and while those are cooking, I'm going to turn my attention to chopping up the vegetables. So since zucchini look good in the store this day, I bought some of those. And I'm going to use the proper technique you see here of cutting them down into planks. And then taking those planks and cutting them into sticks. And then once I have sticks of zucchini, I can dice them up. And this is just a rough dice. This is not a Michelin star restaurant here. This is a van. So I'm just going to chop them up and put them on a plate and have them ready to cook while I start on the next vegetable, which is this beautiful red bell pepper. I really like red bell pepper and I really like adding lots of color into my diet. I think that uh, the more color we eat, the healthier it is. At least that's what I tell myself. So the potatoes are now cooked and ready to be drained off. And no, I don't own a colander, but as you can see here, I don't really need one either. So now that those potatoes are cooked, I can put those in a bowl and set them aside to cool down. And now that the pan is free, I can start cooking the rest of the vegetables since I do have some diced and ready to be cooked. Yeah, believe it or not, this onion did not make me cry. Uh, but they usually don't, uh, especially because my knife is nice and sharp. And I know my knife work looks a little scary here, but it really just is because it is really hard to chop while sitting down. But I managed. Well, after all this cooking, it was starting to get a little warm in the van, so I gotta lose the sweater before I move on. And I believe these are the last of the veggies to cook, the zucchini. Now, I really like zucchini, and I think it makes a great taco filling, but uh, I find it to be a little bit bland sometimes. So what I usually like to do is spice it up a little bit, so I've added some garlic powder and some chipotle powder just to give it a nice little extra flavor. And there we go. That's all the veggies cooked. Now I'm just going to let them cool down a little bit and then I'm going to put them away, tuck them in the fridge, and I will make veggies tomorrow. So here we are the next day, and yes, I am wearing the same t-shirt I was wearing yesterday. Please don't judge me. But I really like this t-shirt. It's got this great little saying on it, great color, it's super comfortable. I really like it. Uh, yeah, let's make some tacos. 
So first up I chopped up some cheese just to get that out of the way. And then I'm going to turn my attention to the corn tortillas because we're going to fry these. And I like to fry them in coconut oil. Now it's a little chilly in here today so my coconut oil is quite set up. That's not a problem because I can use my trusty spork to dig some out. So while that oil is warming up in the pan, I'm just going to set out a couple of things I'm going to need, which is a plate with some paper towel on it and some tongs. These are actually the world's worst tongs, but uh, they're the only ones I have. So I'm just going to use those to fry off the tortillas, and I just need a few seconds on each side. Now this frying will just make the tortillas a little more pliable for our next step. And as I get them done, I'm just going to drain them off on that paper towel. And now that we have all our tortillas fried off, we're just going to add our fillings. I'm going to start with some of those cooked potatoes, and these are just cold. I'm going to also add some pinto beans that I had left over from the other day. And then I will add the veggies, which I just mixed all the veggies up. So this is the zucchini and the red onion and the red bell pepper. And I'm just going to make a nice little pocket of them in the tortilla. And what some people do here is to hold it together, they might add a toothpick. Now, to be honest, I usually skip this step with the toothpick. I find that it's usually not necessary. But sometimes it can help with our next and final step of the cooking process. So now I'm working real fast because i got to get all these done and, you know, got to get them filled up and ready to get cooked. And I don't know why I'm moving so fast, but it's making me want to talk fast. And I really don't like moving fast and I really don't like talking fast. But, you know, this is, this is just one of those things that you got to do. And it's really finding it tiring and I really wish this would be over. But, uh... Okay, enough of that. Uh, now, back to the nice slow pace. We're just going to fry these off. This is just a shallow fry in some of that coconut oil. And the only problem I had here was I made five tacos, but my pan would only hold four comfortably. So that's not a really big deal. I just worked on these, and I fried off the fifth taco later. So we're just going to leave those in the pan until they get crispy on one side. Then once they get crispy on one side, I'm going to go back to the world's worst tongs. These, <laughs> these tongs really are awful, i, I got to tell you. But I persevered and was able to eventually get all the tacos flipped over onto the other side so they can brown up. And I did it with, uh, you know, kind of minimal spillage. I was actually quite, quite happy with myself. And now to finish them off, I just added in that cheddar cheese that I prepped earlier and some sour cream and my favorite of all time hot sauce, that yellow bird hot sauce. Oh, and remember to take the toothpick out if you happen to use those. And that's it. Those are my favorite tacos, veggie tacos. If you can, I would really suggest eating them on a lovely day out at the beach because tacos really do taste better when you're outside at the ocean. Thanks for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it.